you know there are two sorts of videos that I particularly like on um, YouTube those that just generally entertain me and they can be of any shape or form and then there's the YouTube video that uh, tells you precisely how to fix something and in this video we're going to be precisely telling you how to fix your X-carve so that the gantries lock in place when you come to change bits that's all coming up after this so see how easy the uh, carriage is to move now in my previous uh, CNC related video you saw me build an Austin Mini sign as a gift and one of the notable features of that video was the fact that I used a um, 1 8 inch straight cut bit to do the roughing pass and then switch to a V cut or a V cutting bit uh, to do all the detailed work however this machine has a problem which I really didn't notice too much until I came to make that video you may have noticed the gantry move whilst the bits were changing it took a little bit of adjusting and I'd made very sure to mark the starting position of the um, first cut so that I could line the V carve bit up on that mark for the second cut perhaps half a millimeter out the result wasn't perfect but for the camera it looked okay so we went with that but it's a big source of frustration and um, there is limited help so in this video we're going to show you how to fix that and uh, we start by taking apart the uh, X controller okay that's as much as I need to do to expose the switches at the back okay so you can see here uh, the dip switches for each of the axis controllers and it's uh, switch number four which is in the on position and this on position is like a power saving mode for the X carve effectively means that when it's idle the motors aren't drawing any power from the controller we'll change the switch here from on off some people say that um, these settings can uh, shorten the life of the stepper motors but to be perfectly honest the, mach the machine is turned on so the X controller is energized when I'm running the machine when the machine stops everything gets turned off so it's not like this is going to be sat in a sort of idle state all day consuming power and potentially causing these uh, premature failures of the stepper motor the next thing we need to check is um, our settings in easel and that's done by uh, going into the machine setup menu so you need to go into the advanced settings and then um, machine inspector brings us to this window and it allows us to look at all of the uh, settings uh, within the X controller itself and the setting that we're interested in is $1 equals 255 now if that setting is correct as it is on my particular X controller then that's all you really need to worry about if the value is anything else other than 255 basically there's probably not enough power going to the uh, motors when idle uh, in order to hold them in position uh, to change a value it's fairly simple in the console, uh, you just type in dollar uh, one equals two five five. Return. So there we are. Let's see if that works. I mean, there's a little bit of give, and eventually you can overcome the, the motors, but that's much, much more forgiving. So that's about it from me. Um, if you've been frustrated by your X-Carve and uh, this video has helped you out, then I really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment below letting me know how you got on. Um, if you're a regular viewer or a Patreon or you're just browsing, looking for entertainment, then I hope this was an entertaining or informative video for you. Anyway, from me, Carl Poutney, in the workshop for now. 
Cheerio.